Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Nick Yaneska. I'm a judo Olympian. This is my son, Jack. He's a number one ranked um, junior in the country. And if you've seen my first video, I've been uh, trying to bring awareness about the value of judo in any no-gi environment. Um, other than shooting for legs and pulling guard, judo has a lot of different throws and things you can do in wrestling and no-gi BJJ. MMA too, but basically those two are, uh, I think it's undervalued. There's no such thing as no-gi judo, but judo, the techniques themselves, work very well without the gi as well. So uh, today we're gonna talk or focus on uh, Koshiguruma. It's a common throw in judo, and in wrestling they just call it uh, a headlock. So for judo, with the normal collar tie here, um, the uh, throw looks like this, where I'm gonna use Jack's elbow as a lever and put my arm around the head. And first, I'm just gonna show you how it looks. You step in, throw this way. So all I did was, I'm stepping in with my right foot in front of Jack's right uh, foot also. I'm stepping back with my other foot. My, my knees are bent, and I'm gonna pick up the hip and throw over this way. Now, this throw, uh, if you're not, if you don't have good chest contact for any, you know, if, if you're not in close here before you turn for the throw, if you're too far away and if the head pops out, uh, this is no good. This is points in wrestling and BJJ, they could take your back and start choking or doing whatever. So uh, make sure when you do step in, you step in and you give a nice pull to get the chest contact first. That's when you turn and finish the throw, okay? Um, now, a, another way of doing this, which has a better pull, or kazushi, we call it in judo, is with a, I just call it a head and arm clinch, okay? And there's no real name for it. So, to get this head and arm clinch, I'm going to pull Jack with a regular contact. I'm gonna pull him in, as I pull him in, I'm gonna step in this way and clamp down real fast. If I don't clamp down real fast, Jack has the same grip on me, he could do it to me. But if I surprise him, clamp down real fast, he's a little bit off balance here, and now I come in, hit the hips, and finish the throw. There's another way, if you don't have a collar tie here, if you have an underhook here and you don't have anything here, you can also pull this way and then come in this way to get it and then come in with this row. Okay, so that's a little bit of a tighter grip for the pull, but like I said, you have to surprise your opponent and actually pull them in real quick and fast, so, and don't wait. Once you get that grip, go for it. Another one that I like with this, it's considered uh, Koshi Groom also, is with that head and arm clinch, right? Instead of uh, throwing on your feet, I'm gonna, let's get the clinch first, I'm here. Now, from here, I'm just gonna bring my right, or my left foot back, and bring my right knee down. So this way, I'm gonna be super low. Get right to the pin like that. It's much harder for Jack to uh, defend it. So from here, pull him here, get the clasp, pull it in, right? Now I'm gonna bring my left foot back, right knee down, and then finish with the pin right here. So again, to review, regular Koshigaruma, let's give a different angle here, okay? With the, just a collar tie, a headlock, stepping in, right foot, right, left, Pick it up. With the clinch, pull it in, get the clinch, pull in, throw in this way, and the last one, we start in this way, pull in, head and arm clinch, and the knee down. 
Yeah, right to the pin. Okay, so that's three variations of head, uh, Koshi Garuma, which is just a, a headlock in most wrestling uh, uh, communities. But and also remember with Koshi Garuma, a lot of times when I see the wrestlers do it, they're coming in with their hips way out here trying to, trying to throw. You don't, need, you don't need your hips way out there. You're, you're off balance anyway. You just want to block this leg with your hip here, this way, that's enough. Okay? Same with the other two. Same thing. Okay? So, um, yeah, basically that's Koshi Garuma. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please put it in the comments. And, um, you know, for future videos, give me some ideas. All right. Thank you.